Hello, hello. Thank you, Capricorn. Oof, gosh, man. How are you guys? It's Ali Jade, Ascended Stars, and welcome, if you've never been here before, to my channel. Yeah, uh, it's it's go time, Capricorn. And, um, but it's a drudgery, isn't it? Heavy, dense energy is going on. So welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. And I am so pleased to be doing your reading i'm going to be doing a general and then i'm going to be doing a couple uh romantic readings for singles and for couples okay so i don't sugarcoat things and i do curse occasionally so you know and i do happen to laugh at inappropriate times so um Hold on one second. I got to do something mm -hmm. super fast. You know, everybody's making noise all of a sudden as soon as I start the video. So hold on. I got to give a little shout out. always the family in the way here so i do apologize for that but uh let's go ahead and take a look at your cards and see what's going on wow you know when i showed you the the other card as i was shuffling i really saw this card <sighs> start off with the two of cups man that's good stuff balancing your money balancing your emotions balancing it all on fire on fire for something desiring uh feeling capable uh stepping up stepping up to it wow what's going on there <laughs> that's under the two of cups oh okay so the ace of wands yeah feeling up to it okay so this is something unhealthy that has to come to an end and is coming to an end and you're seeing you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel uh, but you're this is gonna be a time of reminiscing about the past most certainly so right here we're already gonna step into this energy of mercury retrograde in cancer cancer rules the past swords four of swords so it's gonna take time to heal time to rejuvenate to get back on track to what it is that you truly like to do and you truly um are passionate about it's not gonna it's not it's not like you don't have this passion it's like it's there it's actually there in your physical realm in your space but it's um for some of you love is coming in okay love is coming in <clears throat> you already know who this person is could be a fire sign we have I'll put a little light on that one a little bit more is that too glary no uh the sag the aries or the leo could be right after a painful split up a, a situation where something had to go um something it's it's still going though the thing is this energy is okay i do sense that this energy is still around and um, there's still a lot of passion here for whoever it was that you almost want to, it feels like you, you're getting over or like, you know, you have to get over. So for, there's like a 50, 50 here split where we have some that are entering into this energy. I don't even think they've met the person, but the synergy is going to happen because they've already resolved their issues and are feeling good about love, looking for love, feeling optimistic going for it um it could be somebody from their past that returns it could be a turnaround this yeah that's totally what it looks like after a maybe a halt maybe a, a halt due to somebody going through it either your side or their side somebody and um Getting a little bit of the Eight of Swords energy, feeling stuck. But we do have so much retrogrades in Saturn, your planet, 
that rules Capricorn. We have Jupiter retrograde there, we have Aquarius retrograde there, and we have Pluto retrograde there. So that, that that's part of the stuck energy that I'm sensing, but um, the Ace of Wands is right next to it. It could be, a, you know, it could be really recognizing what is unhealthy. Making, yeah, yeah. For some of you, love has been unhealthy, okay? The relationships, the, the partnership, the dynamics. But for some of you, you're seeing where that, that lies, where that is, where, where the unhealth. It's sexual, I'll tell you that much. It's a sexual, unhealthy kind of relationship. It's probably a dominant, it's probably... A, um, control issue here so maybe it's recognizing that you needed somebody strong you know to take it into the next level to, to take to be at your side let's say not the next level I'm sorry that's not what I meant to say let's just say to so you need somebody strong who can handle you who can be I at your level who can understand you in that in that so it's it's almost like you're looking at a different type of individual in the in regards to love or negotiations or relationships, right? It doesn't always have to be romantic. And I think you're digging in here um, to seeing some revelations about the past, how this is working out, you know, make, make connecting the dots over here, connecting the dots, the four of swords. Let's take a look more at um, more of the themes with the oracle cards. Having faith, having faith, uh, moving fearlessly without fear. Um, you know, the media will bring up the fear and you do rule old people. So old people like not don't like to change because of fear because they, they you know, and again, I did feel the sexuality, which is smack in the middle here of your reading. For some of you, you have to end something that is very sexually fulfilling, you know, that's, uh, that's another energy I get. And that, and then you don't have faith that you'll meet somebody who can really, but you will, you will, they're coming your way. It's faded, it's faded. This is a, like a Piscean Six of Cups energy, the past. Um, and then it's coming it is coming this month it's showing up this month okay so let's look at the astrological influences we got three cards for you so it's a relationship this person could be a Libra but the energy is diplomatic gracious it seeks harmony and balance in relationships so many times I see people don't want to do the work in relationships they just want to go for the low-hanging fruit and uh, the gratification and this tends to go hand in hand with the masculine energy but then we have the um, descend descended feminine fatal energy who descends to the lowest vibration of using manipulation sexual enticement um, so those so so this is all part of the relationship uh, paradigm so this is your energy right now where you're really involved with a bit of liberation I think of being tied to your roles as a masculine you know um, that's we're, we're def redefining things right now in this realm of relation what we call relationships and Capricorn you have so much reviewing recovering rechecking re-evaluating because you're under those constraints of retrograde Pluto now, what did I say? Um, Saturn is retrograde in the sign of, or, or Capricorn, yeah. Pluto is retrograde in the sign of Capricorn, which is you, okay? You're, you're the Capricornian here. So your ability to transform, take a big leap forward, and rebirth. This is all on a retract, you know, like the arrow getting pulled back. But look how strong it's becoming. We really are, like, mm, in this drudgery very still molasses uh heavy 
dense. Dense is the word I've been liking to use lately with this retrograde. So dense density. So you're pushing through even with this density, even like going uphill, the gravity, you know, opposing us. So this is, um, you're making leeway. You're making leeway. This is part of the karmic situation that we're in. We, I think, <clears throat> took it upon ourselves, you know, and said, yes, we'll, we'll do this venture. Those of us who have find ourselves <laughs> in the incarnation right now. The next card is Venus. And the good news, Capricorn, is that Venus is going direct on the 27th. We're at the 11th. So this is way before. So if you're watching it, the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. So your plight, your situation, your hard work, everything's going to pay off. I think after the 27th, you'll start seeing a lot. More. You'll, you'll be able to, I don't know. If you wish to be more in relationships because you're working so hard, that might be something that you're looking into. If you want to transform your business, yourself, your body, Taurian, um, Taurian energy because Uranus is in Taurus right now. And so we have a lot of this going on too. So I'm going to put that there for now. That's the mini. So you have to be fearless, have faith. You're going to be way oozing sexuality as well, my ladies and my gents. And that's going to attract somebody your way that is going to be very um, compatible with you. Okay. Your money, you're balancing the money. You're busy up until the 27th, it looks like. And then you're on fire, girlfriend, boyfriend, um, because you're unstoppable. I think it's a lot of unstoppable energy here. Your past is going to be, I think, the only thing that's going to catch up with you. And not in a bad way, but in a sentimental way. Because <clears throat> look at that. You got the four of swords right after the six of cups. So it's like, you know, you, you have all these ideas and things you want to do. But what, what stops us is we start reminiscing about the past. We start, and we're going to have Mercury retrograde. So that's going to be very, very, very interesting. I can't wait for all the love songs. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. What's uh, partnered or non-partnered? What should we do? I would think this is... Um, <clears throat> Jeez, what is this? I don't, let's, okay. Okay, yeah, this is um, singles. This is singles, okay, my loves? I'm sorry, I blanked out for a while. Uh, <laughs> get used to it, because Mercury's going retrograde. I'm just kidding. All right, so let's see what we have for you. Can we do a little tarot with this. And I'm very slow. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm, I'm, um, it's so hot here right now. So, you know, bear with me and I'm trying to keep it together here. I need to drink something cold, but I'm going to just pull these wonderful cards from my Capricorns and see what's going on with the love situation for my singles, singles ready to mingle. Yeah, baby. So you got the king of rods at the bottom of the deck, which is, you know, taking control. He, this man takes control. He definitely does. And he's um, a go-getter. He's an entrepreneur. I always, always associate him with the Sagittarian energy, to be honest with you. But he is all fire, that meaning Leo, Aries, and Sag. But he is... Um, phenomenal person really he does he does know how to get things done and he's very creative i think of right now i'm thinking of him a lot in the cinema in in film okay so in that perspective i see him visual i see him as a visionary right now okay so this is the energy we have now let's go with what else is coming in a happy home a happy couple a happy union um this is peace. This is definitely peace. Yeah, thinking about the past with a warm, soft, gentle, uh, nostalgic type of way, and really wanting to communicate, wanting to connect again. There was a, there's good memories, fond things going on here, and here we go. Let's spy and see. Should they, should I check on them? Are they alone? Are they with somebody? Please excuse my nails. They're they're just not done. Okay, so we also have love 
this person definitely, excuse me, thinks of you with a lot of love. And the, you know, and this is somebody that you know, someone you uh, has been in your life. You've probably been intimate with this card coming up. Okay, I'll put it next to the relationships. Makes a lot of sense, Libra. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So for some of you here, this could be a past life, past life um, where you feel familiar, but you really in this life don't know each other, but there's such a nice connection and bond that is already coming on as an intimate, inti it already feels intimate. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. It already feels intimate. Oh my goodness, oh, I have no damn mess as always. Oh, chemistry. There's a lot of chemistry here between both of you. There's a strong magnetic attraction, but this is the one. This is the one. You do know this person, so they are from your past, and um, they're looking to come back and connect with you. Why? They've been unhappy without you. This person knows you and when I see this one because this this crystal this Chris crystalline water droplet looks so much to me like an engagement ring you know like the diamond coming in so this person sees you like a lifetime partner and and um, I almost get that you don't know this or that they don't know this you don't know this about them they don't know this about you Wow, this is somebody coming back, okay? They're going to contact you before July. We'll see. We're in between eclipses season, so these are game changer times, okay? You might have thought, no, nah, I'll never hear from that person. But mm -mm, this person is it came in upside down. They are not happy without you. Okay, now we're going to go to the coupled. And this was interesting because I knew this was coupled because I saw, okay, it doesn't matter, but when I was shuffling a whole bunch like we have one two three four five five of those cards came out and that tells me that there's history right <laughs> so um look what we have oh my goodness i haven't even shuffled all right oh oh my goodness wow I tell you, the cards speak before I speak. All right, so, or I don't even have to speak. I'll just do a show of showing the cards. No, kidding. <laughs> um, okay, let's see here. My beautiful Capricorns coupled. Please give us the most relative current messages happening for their connections, intimate partnerships. The world card so this is definitely a cycle's ending so whatever if it was like a probably a bad cycle which most of us had that's done okay so that's good so that cycle you guys made it you survived it feels like yeah now you're going straight forward into another cycle into something sorry about that look at that but that's kind of like a confirmation like woo like you know if you guys are watching this it's like whoa thank god we're leaving so it's like okay <laughs> it's like you entered into the next zone lovely lovely then yeah that that pain that anguish whatever you went through my dears whatever that it just it's very you know painful here it, it, it was backstabbing lies um cheating even there's a lot of ickiness here going on and 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 so you can just say goodbye or you could just close that book okay you're writing a whole new book it's got a whole new binder it's got a whole new look it's all fresh okay yes justice this could possibly mean divorce i mean legalities right it could be a legal separation it could be um making sure the kids have their money and their trust funds in order right all of that making sure like you know um you know somebody passed away so i also pick up somebody's parent passed away and then now they said okay i'm done i'm going i'm leaving and they're moving so i get this energy of like you know just things need to be really taken care of in that respect and so when it gets serious into the legal point, it's like somebody just says, F it, you know, and they just kind of move on perhaps into the next chapter of their life. And it has been not good. And being Capricorn, I think you probably put up with a lot. Look, there's so much passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy beautiful beautiful energy so um 
if somebody could be divorcing somebody to get to somebody else. <laughs> that sounds like emotions that came in upside down. So this is really an emotional time. You don't know up and down. You don't know really who to believe. You don't know to trust your emotions. There's like, should I trust these emotions? I don't know if I should trust these emotions. Yeah, so there's like such an intimate connection here. You really embrace each other in, into like uh, your lives. Like it, it almost complements each other. And you know, you, you know deep down in your heart, this is something that you need to celebrate. This is something that this person, whoever it is, brings you peace. And this is, this, this is not this reading, okay? So let's just separate that. Okay, so this person might be at a distance or um, they think of you fondly and this is they're trying to make moves. They're trying to think of how they're going to get to you. That's I think that's that energy right there. Oh, yeah, they're contemplating and really asking the universe, you know, they really want to have a soulmate. And so they're really thinking about how they're going to get out of maybe this very painful situation going forward with their lives. You have three major arcanas around the ten of swords i mean you really can't they really want to move forward there's a lot of, you know they just want to get going on this so it, and they're in, in in a place of like having been stuck they just feel very betrayed yeah it finally took this point you know to for them to get to the place of spiritual growth and say okay i'm done i need to move on so this this person's been very stubborn whoever you're dealing with they've been very stubborn uh, they've been mulling over things. They've been like in a soup of chaos of, of, of crap. Um, yeah, so this is not good. All right. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you. So yeah, that's what that's going on in the, in, in the coupled one. So the coupled one is a bit more chaotic. It's more intense. Uh, it looks like 50-50 of you are going to uh, work it out because there's so much passion but you don't know how to express this passion. Somebody doesn't know how to express the passion, doesn't know how to um, communicate it. And they need time to spiritually grow, okay? And then maybe they just need time to meditate and get over their situation because they still are haunted by a past as well. But they want to celebrate with you and or they have these fond memories of when they did celebrate with you, but they can't move past. They're stuck. Saturn, left of it, okay. I did explain that. <laughs> All right, so let's do the... Um, a little angel guidance here, just uh, angel oracle cards for you, and we'll leave it at that, my sweets, my beautiful Capricorns, my wonderful goats going up the mountain and surviving and making it, it look easy, but it's not truth. Oh, how beautiful. And the sword is, um, well, it's not a sword, but it almost, it is feel like a sword, gosh. Some of you aren't living the truth. You aren't living this truth. Some of you are really on your own. You want to have your, you want to believe your own truth. You're stubborn. It's a stubborn energy, I feel. Oh, okay. Truth. Let's see here. And with that, can I see it? It says, you may find yourself facing a situation in which it is difficult to determine the real truth of the matter. And the best way forward, instead of relying on your rational mind to work it out logically, try going within see sit quietly in meditation we did have that meditation card right here somewhere in meditation look at that even if it's only for a few minutes a day and you'll see the answer to this puzzle revealed perhaps when you least expect it and the affirmation says i look within to find my truth i listen to the divine force that comes from my inner self i am in harmony with myself and i welcome the love of god the power that will guide me towards my fullest shining radiance so it's about being in your power you know being earth signs it's about standing your ground and and being uh dominant over that ground you know and having your foundation in that ground and being unsurmountable you know so that's that's really what I feel with us earth signs because you know y'all know I'm earth too so um, stay cool stay cool uh, here in the northern hemisphere but everybody else much love and light take care um, take care of one another and be kind to one another thank you so much for your viewerships subscribing watching commenting Capricorns I know it's a tough time but you'll get through it and um, you'll shine right
so i'll come back with some more info and uh, some more videos much love and light bye, -bye.